In this tutorial, I will show you how to crochet this beginner friendly shawl. This shawl is worked from one side to the other and you only need to know how to make increases and decreases. For this shawl, I've used Lion Brand's beautiful U yarn, which is a spart weight acrylic yarn. As you can see on this photo, the yarn has a high twist, which adds a beautiful stitch definition to your project. And I've used crochet hook size 4 mm. So let's start. First we chain 3. And we work one half double crochet stitch in the third chain from the hook. Chain 2 Turn your work and work 2 half double crochet stitches in the half double crochet stitch Chain 2 Turn your work and work one half double crochet stitch in each stitch. Chain two, work one half double crochet stitch in the first stitch. And then work two half double crochet stitches in the last stitch. To make it easier, I advise you to attach a stitch marker in the stitch because this way you can easily see on which side you need to make the increases. And then we continue with row five. Chain two and work one half double crochet stitch in each stitch till the end. Row 6, we will chain 2, work 1 half double crochet stitch in each stitch till the end. And work 2 half double crochet stitches in the last stitch. Because as you can see, this is the side with the stitch marker. Row 7 till 84, we will repeat row 5 and 6. So this means a row with 1 half double crochet stitch in each stitch. Followed by one half double crochet stitch in each stitch and two half double crochet stitches in the last stitch. At the end of row 84 you should have 43 stitches. For the next three rows we will work one half double crochet stitch in each stitch without increasing at the end. So row 85 to 87 we will repeat row 5. At the end of row 87 we will still have 43 stitches. Then in the next row we will repeat row 6 which means we work one half double crochet stitch in each stitch and work two half double crochet stitches in the last stitch. At the end of row 88 you will now have 44 stitches. And then we repeat this. So we make three rows of one half double crochet stitch in each stitch and at the end of row 91 we will still have 44 stitches. And then the next row, 92, we will work one half double crochet stitch in each stitch and end with two half double crochet stitches in the last stitch. For the next seven rows, we will repeat row five, which means we work one half double crochet stitch in each stitch without increasing at the end. So at the end of row 99, you will still have 45 stitches. Row 100 we will chain 2, work 1 half double crochet stitch in each stitch till the end. Then we will work the last 2 half double crochet stitches together, also called a decrease. You will have 44 stitches at the end of row 100. 
Row 101 to 103, you will work one half double crochet stitch in each stitch without decreasing. So at the end of row 103, you will still have 44 stitches. Row 104, we will repeat row 100, which means we work one half double crochet stitch in each stitch and work the last two half double crochet stitches together, which means a decrease. And then again, the next three rows, we will work one half double crochet stitch in each stitch without decreasing, which means we still have 43 stitches at the end of row 107. Row 108 to 189, we will repeat row 100 and 101, which means we work one row of half double crochet and decrease the last two stitches, and then again work one row of half double crochet without decreasing. At the end of row 189, you will have two stitches left. So I chain two, turn my work and work two half double crochet stitches together. And now I have one stitch left. I chain two and work one half double crochet stitch in the last stitch. Now we will continue working on the border. We will work along the edge and each row means one stitch. So we have 191 rows, which means 191 stitches. We will start with three chains. I work one double crochet stitch in the first two stitches. I will say stitches, but of course I mean the side of the rows. Then we chain 3, skip the next stitch and work 1 double crochet in the next 2 stitches. And this is what we will repeat till the end. So we chain 3, skip the next stitch and work 1 double crochet in the next 2 stitches. Repeat this till the end and I will see you there. And we will end with 1 double crochet in the next 2 stitches. You now have 63 chain spaces. Row 2 we will chain 1, turn our work and work 1 single crochet stitch in the first 2 stitches. Then we will work 3 double crochet stitches, chain 3 and again 3 double crochet stitches in the next chain space. Then we will work one single crochet stitch in the next chain space. And this is what we will repeat till the end. And we will end with one single crochet stitch in the last two stitches. You will now have 32 double crochet groups as I call them. In the next row we will chain one, work one single crochet stitch in the first two stitches and until the end we will repeat the following. 
we chain two work six double crochet stitches in the next chain space chain two and work one single crochet stitch in the next stitch Repeat this till the end and I will see you there. We will end with chain 2, 6 double crochet stitches in the last chain space, chain 2 and 1 single crochet stitch in the last 2 stitches. You will still have 32 double crochet groups. In the last row we will chain one and work one single crochet stitch in the first two stitches and then we will repeat the following till the end of the row one single crochet stitch in the next chain space one single crochet stitch in the next three double crochet stitches then we chain two make a slip stitch in the first chain Work one single crochet stitch in the next three stitches. One single crochet stitch in the next chain space. And one single crochet stitch in the next single crochet stitch. Repeat this till the end and I will see you there. We will end with one single crochet stitch in the next chain space and one single crochet stitch in the last two stitches. And that's it! Your shawl is done! The border might look challenging but it's a really fun border and the outcome is beautiful. I really hope you like this tutorial. Please like this video and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free and this way you will get notifications when I upload new patterns. Hope to see you next time. Bye!